that's not good. Are you tired of having to mop up a whole lot of water under your refrigerator? Another spontaneous video. You can tell by the way I am not shaved. Anyway, I've been meaning to make this video for a long time. Six months probably. Thanks to my friend Greg from Greg's Refrigeration in Ipswich. We didn't get rid of this fridge. He said normally on fridges there's a little drain somewhere, a hole and they randomly get blocked up so you don't need to throw away your old fridge this is what I did to clear it so let me show you what I did to stop the problem without buying a new refrigerator 99% in fact all of the videos are found on YouTube about this came out of America and uh, for some reason the only ones I could find were where the freezer was on the bottom well uh, here I suppose we have different models our freezer's on the top so it's a slightly different arrangement. So in this case, with this old Panasonic, which is that model there, it doesn't have a drain as such a hole, but it does have this little elbow, which was full of crud, black sort of crud, which I'd washed out. Before I blow it out with an air compressor, get something that's not metallic. I was looking for some weedy to cord I had that was square, but it's gone missing in action. So I've got some green stuff here. I want to try and, after I take this off, you can see it's dripping there, look. Okay, it's dripping from above for some reason. Maybe crack up there. I'm not sure if there's a hole. Anyway, so get this cord. Never use metal because there's always a risk. But I'm going to shove this up here as far as I can just to make sure there's no blockages and it's not going very far at all up there. Yeah, I don't know why. Anyway, so do the reverse going down as far as you can get it, which in this case should be quite a long way. That will come out at the in theory, if it's not blocked, way down the bottom under the fridge, where I'll show you into a drip tray. Because this is where, my understanding anyway, the defrost cycle drips to. Those of you that remember the old days of the non-frost free fridges, remember defrosting manually. <laughs> Huge chunks of ice. Uh, I can hear it going down. Yeah, the thicker cord would have been more handy. Feed that down as far as you can to try and clear any blockages. So get your air gun. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Now I don't know if you can see this. That hole that I uh, just took that thing off. Put that a blast down there with an air gun.
Now I've already done it before I filmed but in this case there's a drip tray. Very carefully unclip the coils from the plastic holders and then take the drip tray and give it a good hose out and clean. And also underneath where the drip tray was, you see a little drain there, carefully do the same. And give everything a blast as well. Won't hurt. So once you've cleaned this tray out, carefully put that back and those coils, if you want to call them that, clip back into those slots there. Also the drain but this is to collect your water as it's defrosting. There's a little drain down here. Check that that's okay. And just in case, I'm also going to put a, another little o-ring in there because I have an o-ring kit. So on many fridges that you'll see on YouTube, they actually have a coil or like your um, air conditioning has those aluminium fins. In this case, it's obviously in there. If they are exposed, then very carefully give them a brush off or a, a blow with an air compressor, but don't be too close because you don't want to bend those fins. But this Panasonic, which is 20 years old, doesn't have one. So that should be okay. So I just carefully vacuumed all the mouse poo from out of there, which was everywhere, surprisingly. And uh, yeah, just there goes the compressor. <laughs> Sorry about that. So then, once you've um, connected those coils, put that back into position and screw them back up. So that's reattached now. Everything's looking good. Good opportunity to clean behind the fridge as well. Well, these take a bit of persuading to get out of the notch. They sit in most kitchens, but they are in rollers. Good opportunity to give it a clean. So then reinsert that. Try and make it firmly in there, which it seems to be. And that should solve the problem. This might be a better, better shot for this now that the fridge is back in situ. That's the elbow. It'll be different for every model fridge, so it pays to check around. I only found this when I pulled the fridge out. I ended up putting a bit of clear silicon around that elbow. I guess if you could find parts, you could get a new one, but I put some clear silicon on the top because it looked a bit compressed. So it's not going to hurt anyway. And a little bit in the top of the freezer. Same thing up there. I found a crack, which won't cause a leak, but uh, well, it should improve the thermal efficiency, if nothing else. Again, the, this is just what I do. As with any of my videos, you don't have to follow my guidance, but this is what I've done. And it seems to work most times. Anyway, see if that works for you, because it worked for us. Cheers.